Hello my students, kembali lagi dengan teacher kalian Siapa lagi, siapa lagi kalau bukan It's your one and only, Sir Billy <coughs> Alright So, today we're gonna learn about how to give opinions Opinions dalam bahasa Indonesia adalah pendapat ya Personal view or judgment which isn't necessarily based in facts or data Now, I've, I'm certain that all of us have done it before, you know I think all of us uh, must have had given our own opinion about something to someone at one point in time in our lives. So this thing is something that we do every day on a daily basis without maybe even realizing it. Because opinion isn't necessarily based on facts or data, that means it can be wrong. So it's a normal thing to have different opinions with other people. That's why in this lesson, we're gonna learn how to state your own opinion and how to agree or disagree with someone when they state their own opinion. First, we will learn how to express your own opinions in English. It's very simple. You just have to learn all the expressions that people use to give opinions. Let's start with the most basic expression for giving opinions. I think. It can be used formally or informally. Let's take a look at some examples. I think the earth is not flat. I think education in developing proper logic is more important for human beings to aim at rather than just aiming on how to get as much money as one can. Okay, that's too long, but you get the idea. You can also use this expression. In my opinion. Let's look at some examples. In my opinion, mental health is just as important as physical health. Watching podcast is a nice way to think and learn something new, in my opinion. You can also express your opinions in the negative forms. Let's look at some examples. I don't think that Bill Gates is an alien. I don't believe in conspiracy theories. Let's learn how to ask other people's opinion about something. You can use this expression What do you think about? Or How do you feel about? You might ask someone What do you think about this pandemic? Now let's learn how to agree and disagree about something You can use it anytime you want to respond about something If a friend says I think basketball is more fun than football You can respond with I agree or that's right or I think so too but if you want to disagree with it you can say that's not true or I don't think so or I don't see it that way or simply just I disagree however if you're not sure whether to agree or disagree you can just say I'm not sure about that, or I partly agree with you. It's even better if you can follow your opinion with some solid explanations. For example, if someone says, I think Smanla is the best school in Langwan, don't just respond with your opinion alone. 
use a statement to justify it. You can say, I think so too. They have amazing English teachers there. <laughs> All right, I think that is going to be it for today. I do hope that you can understand what I was trying to explain to all of you. Stay healthy, be safe, and see you on the next lesson. Thank you.